okay uh, it's producer glimbo again on the tutorial um you welcome once again to our first studio tutorial in today's tutorial i'm gonna show you how you could add multiple plugins in just a slot in our first studio channel so it's pretty simple uh, sometimes you could see it's only 10 space right here for adding plugins so if you want to add uh, more plugins than 10 uh there's a tricks we use to, in doing that there's something in our studio that could help you do that and then you could just add more than one uh, uh more than four to three plugins in just a slot in our studio okay uh, let me quickly go to that and show you how you could do that uh, in case you have a vocal track you want to edit this is instrumental track i don't want to use instrumental track so let me use a vocal track let me go to my record and i click on recording i see a vocal track that i would like to use for that let's see okay let's play this vocals right here let's see how it sounds like the mama music just a funny kind of music okay it's a carolina recorded previous weeks ago yeah it's Carolina by, by glimbo was recorded weeks ago okay let me show you how you could add the plugins in this case you could add a plugin like flangus now you can experience the changes in that flangus so if i want to add another plugins like the eq i could add it here but no doubt you could still manage these 10 uh, slots in editing your music but in case you just want to add more plugins this is what you do you go to fr studio there's something we call the partial in fr studio you click on that and the basic thing about this partial is that it helps you to add a plugin and then the other plugin will then pass through the other plugin and then make this plugin work hand in hand these plugins will work together to produce a specific kind of effect. So I, without wasting of time, I would like to go and add a plugin right here. Uh, you go to the left hand side of the pasha. I see a, a little icon. You click on it. You see where you see add plugin. You add plugin. Okay, because you tr you're looking for effects to edit your vocal track you could go for eq um plugin so let me choose a plugin here that could work for that eq in this case let me use a fruity parametric eq yeah i'm not gonna use a third party plugin right here when you go for your eq add an eq here you could be able to Okay, let me use parametric eq2 i'm not used to parametric eq1 add plugin parametric eq2 okay right here you could go click on the um uh, little when you click on it it will appear in large form you could adjust it you could minimize it you could maximize it you could still edit it as if you were adding it in just an independent slot in just a single slot but right here i don't want to waste a little bit of time so let me just choose a preset for my eq i choose a, a vocal preset let me just add a vocal presence to my track and then play it you could experience a change in the vocal this wasn't how the vocal sounded before but let me see without adding plugin to this without adding plugin to this uh pasha the music wouldn't produce will not produce any sound so you must add a plugin or if you don't want to add plugin what you need to do is just to connect this um just to root fr studio 
to Air Force Studio. Bad, Start bad. playing. Like but the basic reason for this is to add plugin and edit the sound. So we need to add this plugin, the Fruity Parametric EQ2. So when you disconnect it from FL Studio, there will be no sound. When you connect it back to FL Studio, you got sound in it. So just let it be connected to FL Studio and start losing the sound again. So the next thing I'm gonna do right here is to add another plugin. Remember, I told you it's all about how you could add multiple plugins in just the slots. You could add a compressor to compress the vocal. Track. I use fruity compressor because it's a, it's a vocal. So, this is where the basic um operation coming apart come to place so what do you do right here now the new plugins you add here is not rooted to any points in the system so what you need to do is that how do you want these new plugins to work do you want it to work independently or do you want it to work do you want it to work independently or do you want it to work alongside with this parametric eq so if you want it to work with the parametric eq the next thing you need to do is to root it first to this point understand what i'm doing here so then you root it to fr studio input and now when you play the vocal track um will pass through this fruity compressor and then pass through the parametric eq before it gets to the fr studio output okay but uh, if you want it to pass through the fruity parametric eq first before it gets to the fruity parametric uh, i'm sorry to say if you want to pass through the fruity compressor before it gets to the fruity parametric eq and then to the fruity uh, to effort studio outputs you you set it up this way by this way we play the vocal and see this how the vocal sound just choose a preset i just i'm just using presets because I will not have time to trick those knobs. You could trick the knobs right here. To your, let me just trick it for you. You could trick it to your favorite presets. And this is the ratio. Um, you could do everything. Remember, it's a vocal track. You don't need to compress too much. I don't feel it. No other guys will give me all the things you give me. But I see you. I just smile. I, my Carolina. I go do your body. Ah, like that I no go use you play now. Ah, be my lover. I go do your side da, uh -huh. my colorina. I no go use you play na, yeah. So, you just tweak well, your knob until you make sure yeah, you yeah. got what you want in your vocal. Original so let's just use a preset, a vocal oh, no. preset. Uh, I don't Should think there's music? a vocal uh, preset. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vocal, Ooh, yeah. vocal, vocal. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Let that be. So the next thing you could see are uh, more plugins. Remember, I said multiple plugins. Now, let this EQ pass through the uh, fruity compressor before it gets to the output and see how it will sound. Disconnect the EQ from the. Let everything pass through the EQ and then through the vocal through the compressor and let's see how it sounds some of experience changes in the sound no, no, the, the, the vocals is now up front a little bit than it was it's coming up 
Oh no no yeah 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 yeah. Be my lover. Now you see that the compressor is working and the EQ also is working. Remember, I didn't do anything like gain station. I didn't do gain station. So if I had done proper gain station before I start this, you would have experienced some changes. But that is not what we're here for. What I'm showing you as to is how to add multiple plugins in just a slot in a first studio. So like I said, you could still add more plugin. Add plugin. Now you could add a chorus plugin or you could add a flame goose, you could add whatever you wanna add. Just to read them to the input and output just the way you want it to be rooted. Now this is a compressor. Now, I would love to root this one separately. Then it will pass through the compressor. Um, I'm sorry to say through the EQ. Uh, it will pass. Rooted to the. Okay, it couldn't be rooted to the input. Cannot be rooted to the input. Rooted to here. It will pass through here. And then to the uh, first to the and I see the flame goose is now working. That's not even enough. You could still add more plugins. Okay, let's add a river plugins. This is a river. This is to input. And this will pass through EQ. My Joanna. My Joanna. I you could see the magic. I have been able to add a reverb plugin right here. I've been able to add a flame goose right here. And I've been able to add the compressor and both the equalizer right here, just in a single slot of a channel. So, now if you take your time and trick the knobs, you could see that everything change uh work out for your goods so let's take a break right here next time until we get to the tutorial I'll show you how you could adjust the volumes and some other things uh, in your fs studio uh, in your pasha this is just a simple thing you could use this to adjust the volume but i'll show you that properly the next time we meet thanks for watching that video please subscribe to my channel still your boy glim okay